Hi everybody, Gerdy van Woerd here, Dare Greatly Guiding Coach with episode 9 of the series on how to safely hike mountains by yourself. So this is a series for everybody who wants to hike mountains, but especially for those people who want to immerse themselves in nature so they can leave stress behind and start hearing themselves think again and start to relax. Now it's a lot easier to relax when you know what you're doing, so that's what these tips are for. Tip 9. Leave your earbuds at home. Now, why would you ask? Because uh, maybe uh, it relaxes you to, to listen to music or to uh, listen to podcasts or an audiobook. But you are going into nature to immerse yourself in it. That's how you hope to relax. That's how I know you can relax into nature, in nature. And how can you relax, truly relax, when there is music pounding in your ears? How can you hear the birds sing, the, the splattering of water, the uh, rustling of the wind in the trees, when you are having this pounding noise in your ears? That's the one, that's the first one. But also, and that's much, that's even more important, it can be unsafe not to hear what's happening around you. You can't hear um, rocks cracking just before they start falling down uh, when you've got your earbuds in. You won't hear those rocks until they are upon you, which is, trust me, very uncomfortable. You can't hear there's a horse or a cow behind you that's nervous and is about to attack you. And when you hike, where I hike a lot in the Austrian mountains, believe me, horses and cows are the most dangerous animals you can run into in the mountains. That's different when you move towards the east, towards uh, the Czech Republic or even further east, um, because that's where they, I think they have bears, they have wolves, they have more, they, animals that are more dangerous than um, than cows and horses. And if, you, if you're if you living in a country like uh, the United States, where you hike in the Sierras or in the Rockies or the Appalachians, bears and cougars and animals like that, um, I wouldn't say galore, but lots of them, and you have to be very aware of those animals. So hiking with your earbuds in could make it more dangerous than is necessary. But most importantly, perhaps, or as important is the fact that you won't be able, excuse me, won't be able to truly immerse yourself in nature and take in every aspect of nature, not just what you see, not just what you smell, but also what you can hear when you are in nature. So that's tip number nine. Leave your earbuds at home. Now, am I saying that you should always leave your earbuds? No, not necessarily. I bring my earbuds along when, earbuds along when I uh, do a, um, a multiple day trek, when I do a trekking tour. Not because I want to listen to something as I'm hiking, because I don't like doing that, but because when I sleep in cabins, I may want to read a book and I am too lazy to carry a book around. So what I do is I put an audio book on my phone because I'm I have my phone with me anyways. I put my earbuds in and read, read that book when I'm on a cabin, at the cabin at night. And it's just common decency to not disturb other people with the noise of me listening to a book. So that for me is a reason to bring my earbuds along. There's no, for me personally, there is no other reason. All right, tip number nine. Leave your earbuds at home. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.